Alright guys, Ashby FC here and welcome back to Link's Awakening. So now we need to get uh, Marin uh, over to that walrus so she can wake him up so we can get the hell past. So let's just do that. Now you can actually do a few funny little things when you've got Marin with you. She'll have certain reactions to stuff. Um, you can get some pictures with her as well. Funny one, if you go to the uh, you know the trendy game, the grabber game, she asks for a go and uh, she'll go on it, but she, uh, she misses all the items and she picks the uh, the guy who's running the store up. It's pretty funny. If I can show you a very quick one right now. You dig. Great. Dig it. Dig it. Dig to the centre of the earth. Yeah, little things like that, really, but... I just want to get uh, cracking. Make some progress. Alright, so thankfully we can now take his... Uh, Shortcut. Right, let's go with that walrus up. Go on. Alright, off she goes. We can finally get to the desert now. Actually, as well, if you were uh, where the walrus was, it's a little something. Get out of your ocarina. Give it a little play. Hey! He'll pop back up. Thinks it's Marin. And he'll be like, what the? Piss off, and he'll go back. Anyway, we're in the desert. It's only really small, this. And we're only here to, uh, to get a key. Hmm, these guys also look familiar. What are they from? Oh yeah, Super Mario. Damn you leavers. Those things are such a pain in the arse in the uh, Ocarina of Time. Actually, if you um, sprinkle some magic powder on this little uh, skeleton right here, that dust was so refreshing. Thanks for that. I'll tell you a hint. Use a bomb in a place where the sand swallows you. There is a treat on the other side of the wall. Bye. Cheers for that. Annoyance. You are only getting in the way. All right, got a little bit of a boss here, a land mauler. Very similar to. Uh, one of the boss fights in uh, Link to the Past, but in Link to the Past you face four of them, right? And they're significantly harder. It just jumps in and out and just give it a whack. Make sure you're not in its path. And it'll soon go down. Or you're getting sucked down uh, through the sand. There we go. Okay, there was the key. You can grab it before it goes down, but if it falls down, it doesn't matter. It's going to be coming down here. But there you go. The angle key. That is for the next dungeon. But we uh, won't be uh, tackling that uh, in this video. Uh, Alright, yes, remember the uh, skeleton said um, use a bomb where the sand swallows you or whatever. There you go. He's on this top wall. A piece of heart. Thank you. All right, let's get out of here. C 
See bears form, sleep bears dreams, both end in the same way. Crash. The shit. Here we go down here. Oh, there we go. Pick up that bottom rock there, and another seashell. Not too many left to go, actually. Alright, we're pretty much, um, how much can we guess? 17. Pretty much uh, done here in the desert. Told you it was only a small area. The main goal was to get the key. Alright, off we go. Oh, here he is. Best mate. Go to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top, and you will reach your goal. Thanks for that. It's gonna be so goddamn cryptic. Just, just tell me straight. You know what I mean? Jesus, There's so much to ask. Anyway, what uh, we can actually do now, or what you can actually do as soon as you've got the. Um, the Pegasus boots. He's going to have to do the uh, the optional uh, color dungeon, which is a uh, exclusive dungeon to the DX version. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's really easy. It's only short as well. I, just went, I went straight past the. Um... No, I didn't. Sorry, I think I'd gone past the uh, the warp point there. I hadn't. So I need to go back to uh, back to the village. You gotta make sure you've got um, magic powder for the dungeon. It's pretty important. You're all stocked up on it. Right, so we're going to go into the library, which I think we did do right at the beginning of the game. Uh, you can read all those books, that little tutorials about the game's mechanics and what have you. But you may notice there's a book on top of those shelves at the back. He picks his boots out, boom, smash into it. The book comes down. I remember doing it uh, as a kid. Um, Oh, I was trying so hard. I was convinced that once I got the feather, I could jump up and grab the book. I kept trying to do it, and I think it was a complete accident. I accidentally dashed into it, and the book dropped down. I'm so proud of myself. New world of colour under the five gravestones. Up three, right four, up five, right left two, down one. What does it all mean? Does we see the power of colour? We'll close uh, the secret dungeon. See, that's giving you a little clue how to get to the dungeon. So, well, you know it mentioned graves, so obviously we're going to the graveyard. Said the uh, the five graves, so that's six. That's four. Oh, there you go. There's a fifth. The main thing is you've got the uh, the ghost knocking about. Yeah, the clue it's giving you is uh, you got to push the graves. Got to do in order as well. If I remember right, and I've got I've got it written down here, so I always forget. So the first one I want to do is I want to push this one down. Of course, when the ghost comes out, I want to push this one left. This one up. 
that one right, and also this one up. By the way, ghosts, and there you go. You have access to the secret colour dungeon. Who are these fellas? Our colours are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What colour is my cloth? Red. Sorry, it's not. It's the opposite colour to whatever they say they are. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What colour is my cloth? Red. Eh? Eh? Look this one. Our colours are never the same. If I am red, he's blue. If he is red, I am blue. What colour is my cloth? Red. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What is my cloth? Blue. We mentioned having the powder there, so uh Yeah, make sure you get powder. Oh, we've got some goblins here. Some annoying little buggers. They fly around and then as soon as they pop out from the ground. Give them a clout. You can imagine the dungeon's very colourful. Alright, oh, this is annoying. Okay, right, you gotta hit these uh Basically we need to turn all these um it's what it's one of these where you hit it and it changes the colours of Certain ones. We need them all to be blue. Holy shit, fuck me sideways the first time. I was lucky. Those are the sort of things that I'm usually at for a long time. Okay. Alright, we've got the compass. Alright, that's a bone putter right there, flying around. Take his wings and he'll bounce around. But yeah, see these little bouncy pads? See how they change colour? Goes from green to orange to red, and then it'll basically disappear and there'll be an all you can fall down, so be careful. But anyway, actually, I just before I forget, well yeah. Be careful of that. Again, there's another owl there, but it, if you get the beak, um, it tells you what it said before with um, you know, tap the wall. It's basically there's a Bobble wall right here. You'd see it if you've got the map. We ain't got the map. But we got a lot of rupees, and these are different colour because they're all worth five. Money, money, monies. Look at all that monies. Yep, I'll be getting that ball. Alright, these fellas. I forgot what they're called. But it's quite obvious what you gotta do when you hit them. You turn into a little ball. And just throw them in the correct hole. There you go. There you go, that's a stone beak right there. Some more of these guys. Oh, 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 very rude. Alright, here we go again. These stupid things. Right, I think it's that. Hit that one, I think it's this top uh, left one twice. Yep, yeah, okay. And there's your key. Here is your clue. Make all the red blue. Brilliant. That's helpful. Goddamn stupid freaking owl. I hate him. I don't know if. I've got that point across, but I'm I'm not his biggest fan. Anyway. Ooh, more goblins. They're easy enough to get out of the way, oh god. Let's see what we got up here. Oh! Mini boss. Boo, I am no weakling. Your pitiful sword is no match for me. So we've got a giant buzz blob. Don't you powder? When you strike him, you fool! Your sword won't work. Try something else. Yeah, it's like the other normal buzz blobs, the green ones. The sword's useless. So, uh, give him a bit of that. A little powder. Then you can hit him. You get a couple of waxing. 
watch out for the uh, bolts he chucks out. Oh god, a terrible job here. There we go. Anyway, we should drop a fairy, so it'll be good there. There we go. Get that health back up. Alright, the chest there. I'm going to push the bottom one. And the top one. Middle one up or down. And boom, there you go. We got the nightmare key. Bounce back across there. Alright, now back in this room, and this time we'll take the uh, south door. More goblins. Key there. Ooh, the one way door. Right, let's just back where we've been. Been left on there. Uh, it's the way in. So yeah, we can go through this uh, top door right here. Alright, time for another uh, mini boss. Uh, Deku Don, I think he's called. It's a bit annoying because he jumps up and down and stuns you and then chucks these boulders at you. Easy way to take him out is uh, bombs. You can kill him with two. Otherwise, I think it's about eight or so hits with your sword, maybe more. I think you can kill him with the uh, bow as well if you've got it. Might be the best way to do it, but I can't remember how many hits it takes. Oh! Hold on the all again. Alright, we'll lift this um, pot at the top there. Got a switch. We'll go north first. Let's kill all the zoles and the gels. Should give us a chest. There we go. And that will give us the dungeon map. So as you can see there, it's, it's only a really small dungeon really, isn't it? Oh, these guys again. They do uh, only stay killed up. Or rolled up, I guess. For a short amount of time, so... Oh, I accidentally knocked that one into the hole. I was lucky. Oh. You can fall down the walls as well. Don't ever mention that. There we go. Some for you. And here we go, another key. Let's head back and take the uh, western door. Alright, here we go. This bollocks again. Right, um. That one. That one. That one. I think that one. Alright, we're in business. Here's your clue. Make all the red blue. Brilliant. Again, thanks for your words of wisdom. Basically discovered all the rooms, pretty much. Through we go. Don't worry about that. Straight to the dungeon boss. And this uh, boss is called uh, D D Poon. <laughs> Poon Tang, right? He's annoying, right? He's like a giant switch. You've got to keep repeatedly hitting him, change his colour, and he resets. Chucks projectiles at you, and as you hit him, you get pushed away as well. So it says blue, start over. Yellow is caution, red is danger. Obviously, want to get him to red. Just keep jumping at him. 
Yep, alright. Just took stealth ass at you as well. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Usually I have a bit of trouble because he keeps pushing me back and every time he goes back to blue, um, it'll say like start over and it gets really annoying I mean, to keep seeing the message. I'll just be aggressive as hell with that fight, basically. Hello, fairy! So this isn't um, one of the normal dungeons of the game, obviously. As I said, it's exclusive to the DX version. It's an extra thing they added, so there's no instrument for this. And it's a totally optional dungeon. You don't have to do it. But why not? Choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. You can, you can choose um, your tunics there. So um, basically, red's going to... Um, Double your power, blue's gonna double your defense. And I think it's best to go for uh, double defense. Just trust me on that. You can go back and change it as well, I think. Yeah, damage is reduced by half. I'm just trying to think was this the first game to have different colored tunics? Think about to link to the past. I don't think so. Oh no, they might have been actually. Of course, they were in Ocarina of Time. Because you needed your uh, blue to breathe underwater and uh, your red for your heat resistance so you could go into uh, Death Mountain. Which is freaking awesome. Alright, so yeah, that's. Um that's the uh, optional colour dungeon done, right there, and we have indeed got the um, key to the uh, the fourth dungeon, won't it? Fourth proper dungeon. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for um, this part, and well, next time we'll start heading towards the next dungeon. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.